Hey everyone, welcome to Tharkin Crypto. On this channel, we make magic internet money, and I show you exactly how I do it so you can follow along. If you like the sounds of that, hit the like button and subscribe so you do not miss anything. Today's video is going to be an educational one. I think I can skip the disclaimer. This is more about safety. So, how to revoke permissions with your MetaMask wallet. First off, I'm going to link this resource to you. This is the RugDoc Wiki. It's just a DeFi Wikipedia. It's very helpful, especially if you're new to this space. And it's going to show you how to revoke permissions if you want to read through this. But I'm just going to go over it. This is slightly outdated. So this article is going to tell you to use DBank. And I would have told you to use DBank, um, you know, like a month ago. But it doesn't allow that anymore for MetaMask. You have to use their specific wallet. So skip DBank. If you scroll down here, though, They've got other tools, and they'll give you a list of other services that do the same thing. And Unrecked has been around for a while. BSC Scan was working. It's temporarily down. Has been for a little bit now. Uh, Beefy is pretty good. DBank's good if you're not using MetaMask. If you're using Rabi or whatever their wallet is called, then DBank is probably the best and most convenient. But if you're on MetaMask, like me, and like the title of this video, um, you're stuck with Hyperjump for BSC Phantom or uh, Polygon Scan for Polygon um, and then Unracked for ETH, basically. You know, you're going to be hopping between like Unracked, Hyperjump, and Polyscan. I mean, that's if you're on every chain. I mean, maybe you only use Binance Smart Chain, then you're good on Beefy or Unracked or Hyperjump. You know, there are options, so you're not locked down to one. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and throw, show you exactly how to do this. It's really simple. We're just going to pick one. Man, which one do we pick? Uh, let's go with Hyperjump. So you just come over here. Uh, make sure your wallet's signed in. And you connect to this website. And then the contracts that are connected to your wallet show up like so. Uh, this is actually a perfect example because I bought this shitcoin OP. OPTI and lost some money and I don't want it having unlimited allowance so this is a perfect example so you come to these websites you connect your wallet it shows you all of the authorized spenders and their allowance and you just simply click revoke the transaction will pop up you can't see it because it's off my screen uh, but you just confirm the transaction and that's it. it it revokes the allowance and they don't have unlimited spend it's very, very simple. <laughs> that pretty much concludes the guide. Go to one of these websites and revoke all of the contracts you do not trust. Honestly, it's probably good to just get into the habit of revoking everything all of the time when you're not using it, because why not? It's only like 10 cents or something to revoke all access. So I just wanted to bring that to you guys' attention. Uh, Rug Doctor wiki is a pretty huge resource so come on over here there's plenty of guides on farming DeFi, everything you know everything you need right here and it's a it's just highly useful like favorite this shit <laughs> that's it that's about all until next time